The muddle pack is on the tail. Away, away! The fox is following up the deal. Away, me lads, away! Hound mirrors on the scent I'm told. So funny lads through frost and cold. That mountain base is pure as gold. Away! Bansty fell, that fox is seen. Away, away! The hounds are off the scent is keen. Away, me lads, away! This music sweet to Dale's men's ear when hounds give out so loud and clear. So off, me lads, and lend a cheer. Away, me lads, away! Now who'd weary with a sport like this? Away, away! But who a mortal hunt would miss? Away, me lads, away! On huntsman's horn, nor heeded be by rain or storm. Away, lads, away! Now it went darkness, dust to myrtle high. Away, away! For who the dumbbell did he cry? Away, lads, away! For as you can't, you'll find a bed to rest our limbs and lay our head. We're welcomed, wound, and hoosed and fed. Away, lads, away! Oh, I'm off now. Oh, I'm in, I'm in third gear. How are we looking? Greeting. Let it be known to you that we have granted and by this charter confirmed to our beloved and faithful Thomas, son of Lambert de Moulton, that he and his heirs may hold forever one market at their manor of Egremont in the county of Cumberland, weekly on Wednesdays, one fair there annually, lasting for three days. On the day before, the day of, and the day after the Nativity of the Blessed Mary, forever. Sparkling water is a dual advantage, because when it sparkles it tastes gorgeous, but when a gas flat there's no need to shout drat, because it tastes just like normal water. So I leave my glass half full at night, so I have somewhere to drink in the morning. It's a cunning plan, I think you'll agree, because I never wake up thirsty. So salutations to you, my great sparkling mate. Your charming simplicity makes me snigger. Cause I kill for some coke, but when it's flat, it's fucking yuck, and it makes my belly get bigger. The 90s, shall we say, that we've started picking up with a lot of younger members and younger ideas. Most of these men are born and bred in England and followed the event over the years, and we know it's potential. Like, if I'm, you know, when you have to train, you shouldn't, my neck will just seize up completely. Right. It's fine, because I'm used with it. Do you know what I mean? If you have a hot tub and a couple of bottles of Prosecco, yeah. your back goes, it's amazing. Yeah. That's what we do. Don't feel restricted. The reveal's really good like that, because that's what they call it. The reveal, I think that. It's easy for me to get freestyle, you know what I mean, to do it like that. And when do the reverse, directly on me with the white suit on, the big gurning face, because that's my poker face. It's just one of them things, isn't it? <laughs> I've had 20 lives, yeah. Gordon Blackwell's just that. I mean, there's not many traditional gurners left, there really isn't. I used to do it for a laugh with people, and I've had people screaming. Language. <laughs> I met the Queen of England, who meets the Queen, you know what I mean, that's an amazing... I used to take my top off and stand like a dummy, like that, so people thought I was part of the House of Horrors, then I would fly after them again and, you know, like a madman, doing the, this run like this. Honestly, God, like, we used to cry with laughter doing that, you know what I mean? We had Gordon, me, Happy, uh, Alex Woods, Adrian, and a little girl, so he was always going to struggle. But 
up when you're gurning, you're put, putting a lot of effort into using up oxygen anyways when you <coughs> Originates like werewolves, so that's why I called the face of the wolf. <coughs> I've got a bit of a rubbery neck, so I've got a longish neck. Which... <coughs> I've done a documentary because of werewolves in our family, so. Yeah, and the proper game is really the Popeye one I tend to use as a second fist because I can't keep doing the, the wolf all the time. Uh, but I do the Popeye quite a bit, um, and that obviously is a journey, that's where I won it with the Popeye face. It's Man pulled face of the Queen. I'm, I'm holding my breath, so I can only go as long as I can hold my breath. I'm just blowing my cheeks up and making it a bit of a Popeye. Cab pair, we're probably like, we're sort of away from the audience, like that. You build up, and then we come round with the breath in like, I often try and get my head through it, like that. I only do like two really good gurns, I would have said, like, I just do a few lighter gurns. And You've got to be crackers to be gurning. <laughs>
Tonight, first heavyweights on V-Bag. How do you find that? To be honest with you, I'm not a disrespectful person because they always respect my own opponent, eh? but I've got a right hand like a hurricane. I've got a left welt like a strong gust eh? and, and if I hit you, you're going out. And that's what happened tonight. But I know that it can work either way with other heavyweights as well. But whoever gets that first punch first. I like, I got punched first, but I punched second there. Eh? He just get one punch, yeah? you got more than one punch, was he's a, a legend man. Yeah, top and that's, top, what, that's what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say is that nobody's unbeatable. I've never been beaten me, yeah. It's like, you have got to, you mean, you've got to be, you've, the thing I've learnt about BK is you've got to cover up. He's like, a hurricane, he's a machine. Tie your opponent out. It's too good, eh? And then good night, sweetheart. It's right, lass. I'll see you later. Eh? Well, what about obviously James McCrory is the current champion. He's quite a lot smaller. I'm not too heavy for him, though. Yeah? I'm not too heavy for him. You're not too heavy, yeah? James McCrory deserves a lot of respect for what he does. He deserves a, a lot. He's a humble man. I'm the greatest. I've never been beaten. Eh? I'm not at all saying that I'm unbeatable because nobody is. As you see in the UFC and boxing, that one punch can make a difference.